Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. Well, we're in the western suburbs and Frank Truce was showing me his garage, which I'll show you a little snapshot of. But he's got two birds and we figured we'd do a little bird watching today. Frank, share with him what we have today. Well, what we've got is a uh, 1957 Thunderbird. Uh, and next to it is a 2003 uh, uh, Thunderbird, the I would call a 57, the original, and the 2003, the retro. Uh, those retro Thunderbirds came out in 2002, they made them to 2005, and they produced about 50,000 of them. So here's the 57, we had 55, 56, 57, and then we had several years of that with a great minty color, but a couple of interesting things. One of the things, especially when we parked them side by side was, well, are they the same size? So when we park the noses, as you can see, identical to each other. And by the way, I know everybody's asking, Lou, it's been a while since we've seen some of Frank's cars. Let me just show you his garage. We just videoed that, that's a new one. The Windsor. How's that? Couple of fun toys. Frank's got a little bit of everything. So let's go back to our featured attraction. So you just saw the fronts. Frank, which one did you have first? The 57 or the, the retro well, bird? Well, I have two of these retro birds. I have a 2003 that's a blue, very similar to my 57. And I bought that new in 2003. Uh, I keep that down in Florida where I have a place and use it as my uh, regular driver down there. And uh, now it has about 28,000 miles. This car, the 2004, uh, I got about a year and a half ago, and uh, it was the color that really intrigued me. And uh, it just had about 5,000 miles on it. And uh, so uh, I purchased that, and I thought I would uh, uh, keep it up here and uh, use it in the, uh, in the summer. Oh, what a great car, both of them. It's so fun to see them side by side. Clearly, my favorite Thunderbird is the 57, so I'm a little partial to that. But that does not mean that the styling of the Retro Bird. Well, some people were critical of the Retro Birds and that they were expecting it to be like a recreation of the uh, original ones. But that wasn't, the, that wasn't their intent. It, they wanted to come out with a modern version of the original 55, 6, and 7 Thunderbirds, and yet still have the retro touches, so if you looked at it, you'd pretty well knew this was a, uh, a Thunderbird similar to the original ones. Right. Is there any special markings that they showed, like here's a limited edition or anything, or? Well, uh, this, uh, each year they had a couple of, uh, of, of the retro birds, each year they had a couple of retro colors that were very similar to the colors used in 55, 6, and 7. Mm -hmm. uh, back then the pastels were uh, popular, and um, so this particular uh, color, vintage mint green, just uh, 600 were made in this color. I suppose they would have made more if people wanted more of them, but... They, they also made a James Bond edition of the, I think it was the 2004. And which was, was for, uh, which was, the there was James a movie. Bond movie, yeah. uh, uh, and I think Holly Berry drove it, but it was just a brief segment in the movie, and it's a dark coral color, and there are very few of those around. We actually have one of those on the channel. So I think it's a 2003 to 2004, you can look up Thunderbird James Bond edition, and you should be able to see that. We've got a lot of trunk and treats in that one too. But just all of, I think that for me, the thing that does it is, which I really wish they would have done on the other one, is all the points. The point there, the point there, the point here, the point there, all the points just kind of exploding, almost like a firecracker, versus this is all smooth and rounded and that was the only thing I wish they just would have added that point or come across with something a little pointier there. And I get it, this is obviously much more streamlined and I'm sure that, uh, again, a great design in and of itself. But you, you can see how they picked up the, the retro touches on them 
uh, on the uh, on the uh, new ones, they had the round taillights, mm -hmm. which that was a thing with Ford for a long time. Yeah. They used the uh, this emblem that's very similar to yep. the emblem that's on uh, uh, the original Thunderbirds. Uh, I, I might add that if, if you're contemplating buying one of these, yeah. and you're wondering, shall I get a 57 or a 5, 6, or 7, or shall I get a modern one? Actually, the costs are fairly similar, mm. uh, and it, it's depending on um, the, uh, the uh, mileage and condition. Uh, so a 57 Thunderbird can go from 16,000 to maybe 50, 55 or 57,000. Uh, some would be more expensive than that. There were a limited number of 57s with uh, had two four barrel carburetors or a number of limited numbers that had superchargers. I would say though too, if you're contemplating a 57, if you're a big person, you're going to struggle getting in and out, especially when the tops. Uh, uh, the hard tops on. And for some reason, all these Thunderbirds had the tele uh, telescoping steering wheels. I don't know why, except they were copying the British sports cars of the era, but uh, I don't know anybody that could ever get in and out of this car with the steering wheel other than all the way in. So the, the, the modern uh, Thunderbird has the, uh, the, tilt, the tilt and telescopic uh, uh, steering wheel, but the, on, the, uh, on the, uh, the modern one, it is more uh, spacious it's uh, more comfortable to drive. It's easier to get in and out. You got most of the the modern uh, comforts on the. Which one uh, does your wife like? Well, my wife liked the 2003, which is why I bought it in 2003. But okay. then she got a big dog, and then that wasn't working out. <laughs> so it just kind of sat around, and I uh, I took it down to Florida, and I used it as a regular car down there. But now I also take it to uh, to car shows. Each year, the, the 2000 of the, of the modern Thunderbird, the 2003, 4, and 5 are a little more desirable. Uh, the 2002, they made about 25,000 of them, half the total production. Uh, but it used, the, I think, the dash out of the Lincoln. It had about uh, 25 or 30 uh, horsepower less than the later models. And then there were various things that they added along the way, such as a garage door opener and uh, uh, some other features. This car, uh, my, uh, uh, the 2004 I have here, has got an all black interior. They did offer two-tone interiors every year. You could get them with various colored inserts, and uh, that was optional. Uh, the, the, 2000, uh, uh, the, the modern Thunderbirds all came, uh, or I shouldn't say that, they all came with a soft top, and a hard top was uh, optional. And you can see them in the, in the corner over there. And when I got both of these cars, uh, first thing I did was take those tops off, put them in the corner, and they're never going to go on again. Uh, so, well, you won't fit in it. The, the modern uh, Thunderbird's got an electric power top. You just press the button and it goes up. You have to take you this go. tonneau off. The Retro Bird, that is a struggle. It folds up the top behind the, uh, the seat. <laughs> and uh, okay. there's six latches. And uh, it would be extremely, it's extremely difficult Got if it. you do it uh, by You know, your, one thing too that you, ju you just mentioned that's interesting is I want to show the rake on these windshields, especially when they're side by side. Notice the rake, maybe even better if I do it from the other side, because you'll see, you know, this windshield seemed pretty raked at the time, but maybe that's a better angle right there. You could see the... The rake, there we go. The so, rake starts way up the hood on the new one where so it's farther in, back. In terms of, of maintenance, uh, actually the, the older one is, uh, uh, is the more practical one to buy. They make about uh, every part for this uh, uh, 57 Thunderbird easy to diagnose uh, you know, issues with it. Not so with the 2002 to 2005 Thunderbirds. You know, they're over uh, almost uh, 20 years old now. And Ford doesn't make many of the parts. There's a load of electronics in the car. So um, you, you're going to be looking around when you need uh, uh, some. Let's now, pop, everything let's pop the is hoods. available somewhere, but it takes some time right. to track it down. Let's pop the hood, shall we? On both of them? Uh, okay. 
This one has what I call the traditional opening of a hood where the 57 goes the opposite way. So there's not much to see when it comes to the engine compartment of a well, modern car. Yeah, no. You know, you got a big piece of plastic. Right. Uh, on the on the 2002s, they had a, an issue with the ignition coils on the cars. About yeah. anybody that's uh, 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 has one of those, uh, they've either been replaced or need to be replaced. You'll you'll know it when they okay. uh, when it starts misfiring. Let's open the other one too. We'll just have them both open and kind of compare. Yeah, they put a big plastic cover over that, and well, that's kind of it. Place for your fluids. Tells you what kind of oil. That's helpful. Easy maintenance, if you will. Just like so. Really clean. And then this one opens this way. And this is the upgrade. Uh, uh, you can see the uh, exhaust comes up, the Y job, what they call that. But this has the chrome deluxe package because you can see the uh, chrome here, the real nice valve covers. Yeah, it this, just looks really this nice. This has power steering and brakes. Of course, the, the original Thunderbirds, they didn't come with power steering or brakes. Is this your... Uh, that's the power? brake booster. I was yeah, say the brake a goofy booster. looking thing. They used that for, for wow. a year or two. And the standard was a three-speed uh, uh, three-speed stick shift. Got it. Uh, so everything else uh, was uh, was going to be optional. And and you'll see them that way. You know, with a three-speed stick shift, no power steering, mm -hmm. or no power brakes. Uh, this car, even with power steering, it it takes a, a, a fair amount of uh, 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 effort with the steering. And uh, uh, the issue there, I'm confident, is the oversized radial tires the former owner put on because they, they have a lot more grip than the original bias belt tires the car would have come with. Got it. Well, what a, uh, we'll, we'll close the hood here. And before you do that, I just want to show, there's your tag right there, right inside there. Go ahead, we'll close that. I'm not seeing the tag right off the bat here. Maybe it's inside the door, and since the door is inside there, we don't have that. And you've got your rods here. We'll close that hood. We'll give them one more. So if you if you're looking at the modern one, and you, uh, the one you're looking at doesn't have a hard top, they're readily available because most people that that have them don't want them. They don't have any place to store the hard top. They never put it on the car. I had a, a guy in Florida trying very hard to give me one. I said, <laughs> well, I already have one, but he had a, it was in a condominium and he had no place to, to put the, uh, the, the hard top. So I, I don't think the hard tops on either one of the cars are very useful. Got it. I will close that. We'll take one more look at both the birds from back here. As so we were, there were 50,000 totally of the, of the modern Thunderbirds, so they're going to be around for, forever. Uh, they'll go for 12, 13,000, up to maybe about 30. Uh, 30 would be a very low, low mileage uh, one uh, in nice condition and a desirable color. Got it. Frank, nice to have both of them side by side. It's uh, fun to have them side by side. I had no idea that they were actually the same size, but it was good to get the chance to see them. Frank, thanks again. So okay. much fun to be with you. Yeah. Thanks for being on my car. Yes, store. my pleasure. Nice to see you again.